Central recently ran a competition, as you know. Uh, we offered a $6,000 prize. You entered the competition and you won the competition. Jenny, hi Bob. Hi Brett. Now that the product's installed, uh, how do you feel about the, the final result? Well, Bob and I have been arguing about a pool fence for mm, quite some time now and he wanted something to let the breezes through, but the only choice we really had was aluminium balustrading because we couldn't use horizontal yachting wire. And we thought about vertical yachting wire in the past, but it just seemed like too difficult a proposition to do. We were trying to work out how we could actually construct it where it looked, looked good and worked well. So Bob finally got sick of it and said, no, that's it, we're going to have a metal balustrading and so he, he rang up and ordered one and I woke up in the middle of the night and thought I can't do this it's just too well, ugly. At least, at least it got the ball rolling didn't it? Yeah it's just too ugly. Just made a decision to go. Yeah. This is uh, aluminium. <coughs> this yes. is aluminium yeah. balustrading I'm like no yeah. but it comes off our living room it's going to look so ugly. I woke up in the middle of the night and I thought I just can't do this so I woke <laughs> him up and I said Bob I can't do the aluminium do balust it. balustrading I've got to ring up the fence guy so the next morning I rang up the fence guy the day after we'd ordered it and said, sorry mate, we can't do it, we're gonna have to do glass. So Bob's just like, I don't want glass, there's gonna be no breeze coming <laughs> through into the veranda. I'm going, I can't do the aluminium. So we ordered the glass one. And then two weeks later, he's come home and he said, I found, I found the pool fence. I found, found the pool fence. It's a vertical one and there's a competition running. We said, oh, well, we've ordered the glass one. We'll just get the glass one in. If we win the competition, we'll rip it out and sell it on eBay. And then we went along and had Christmas and we're thinking, oh, I wonder if we will. We probably didn't win it. Anyway, two days later, we got the phone call from Brett and I got to say, Bob hates it, all that American jumping up and down and screaming business that goes on when people win competitions. But I saw the, I saw the email come in and I jumped up and I run into the lounge room and I went, Bob! He thought somebody had died. I went, Bob, we won it, we won it, we won it. And so we both got up and jumped up and down on the spot. And then, and it was fantastic. It's what true. did we do after that, darling? That's all right, we can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, are you prepared to tell, the, uh, <clears throat> tell us what the winning entry was? <laughs> well, we just said, my boyfriend, building designer, and myself, interior designer, have been arguing for three years over a pool fence. Central is it, the sex has never been better. <laughs> That's exactly right. That's what and it's true, you know, like, well, I don't know about that, but it was true because we just, well, I know that he wouldn't have been happy with the glass. Yes. Because it didn't really tick all the boxes and I wasn't happy with the aluminium because it just didn't, it didn't look good enough. You know, we, we've done a lot of things in our house and we want a certain look. And we just love the product because it looks tropical. It doesn't, we can still communicate with people who are in the yes. pool. It doesn't block us off because our garden's only small. It doesn't block us off from anything and it looks great from inside. So, and just seeing it here today, it's just beautiful. I just love it. Fantastic. Mm. So it sort of fit the picture that you had. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And he's happy. I'm blown away with the way that it just fits the house. It really suits it. Mm. You know, it really does mm. suit it. The, just the timber. I didn't want that glass reflection thing going on. Yep. It just really suits the house. Yeah. Absolutely perfect. Great. Did you mention that you were looking at doing horizontal cabling for pool fencing or you were Well, we're not allowed. That's well, that's why, because we yes. weren't allowed. And so yeah. we, we had discussed mm -hmm. vertical, but we thought we'd have to have all the toggles, all the, yeah, you know. Yeah, turnbuckles. And, and it was yeah. going to be expensive screws and, and, yeah. and it might not and look And it would look, so would look quite yes. busy. Yeah. This is actually pretty streamlined, you know. Yeah, it's yeah. very streamlined. That's what I love about mm. it is you can't see anything. And even mm. the stainless steel posts, they're not intrusive at all. They just reflect what's around them really so hmm. they don't No, it looks fantastic we had to put in some extra posts because this was a bit of a unique job this one so we put the posts in but once the posts were in uh, the panels just slotted in yeah. just perfectly yeah. you know well measured and there was virtually no adjustments to be made yeah. and we without having to put the posts in I'd say we probably would have done all this meterage in you know, I don't know three hours I reckon yeah. Three hours would have would have seen it tops. That's uh, so yeah. Just making it in the factory is a great idea. Yeah. Come on site, the builders will be happy. Yeah. You know, the builders will be happy and uh, the owners are happy because you don't mess up the veranda for days on end. Days on end yeah. That's fantastic. We're really yeah. excited. It's Why just wouldn't we really be? finished it all yeah. off. Great. Mm. Thanks, Thanks Brett. Brett. Well, thank you. Too. Thanks, mate. Cheers. Well done. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Easy to fall in love with you. So easy to wonder